ਸਤਿ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਸਲਾਮ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਗ ਹੈਲੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਟਰਨਿੰਗ ਇਨਟੂ ਆਰ YouTube ਚੈਨਲ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਟਾਕਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਯੋਰ ਹੋਸਟ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਟੀਵੀ ਰੈਕਰਾ ਆਈ ਪ੍ਰਪੇਅਰ ਐਪੀਸੋਡਸ ਐਟ ਬੇਸ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟ ਟੂ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਹੈਵ ਕੰਟ੍ਰਿਬਿਊਟਡ ਟੂ ਬਾਲੀਵੁੱਡ ਫਿਲਮ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਐਕਟਰਸ ਸਿੰਗਰਸ ਫਿਲਮ ਮੇਕਰਸ ਔਰ ਟੈਕਨੀਸ਼ੀਅਨਸ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਹੈਲਪ ਮੀ ਗਰੋ ਥਿਸ ਚੈਨਲ ਬਾਈ ਲਾਈਕਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਿੰਗ ਹਿਟ ਦਾ ਬੈਲ ਆਈਕਨ ਬਟਨ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਨੋਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਅਪਲੋਡ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ and in this episode i'll pay tribute to one of the most prominent and successful writers producers directors filmmaker and actor devanand known as evergreen hero devanand gave memorable hit films in six and a half decades of his work in indian cinema keep on watching and help me celebrate life of this indian film legend you can also listen to my full radio show and my podcast links are provided in the description box below You can also follow me on social media. Of course, links for the handles are also mentioned in the description box. So wherever you may be in this vast universe, stay safe and enjoy this episode on Devanand. Devanand was born on September 26 in 1923 in Gurdaspur district Punjab India His full name is Dharam Dev Anand His father was a well-known lawyer in Gurdaspur district court Dev was the third of four sons After he finished his local schooling Devanand went to government college in Lahore and earned a BA degree in English literature After completing his BA degree in English Devanand headed to Bombay in the early 1940s He began his career in the military office and later he worked as a clerk in an accounting firm for 85 rupees. He joined his older brother Chetan Anand as a member of the India People's Theatre Association. Devanand wanted to become an actor after he saw actor Ashok Kumar's film Achhut Kanya and Kismet. Devanand once said that he gate crashed into office of Babu Rao Pai of Prabhat Film Studios who gave him his first break. He was offered the lead role by Prabhat Films in 1946 film named Hum Ek Hai. Devanand became friends with another actor Guru Dutt while shooting for the film in Pune. They agreed that if one of them became successful in the film industry, they would help each other out. They had an agreement that when Devanand produced a film, Guru Dutt would direct it and when Guru Dutt directs a film, Devanand would act in it. Devanand was very proud to be Punjabi. He would often talk in his mother tongue Punjabi. Devanand was given his first break by actor Ashok Kumar. He noticed Devanand hanging around the film studio and chose him as hero of his Bombay Talkies film in 1948. Film was named Ziddi, co-starring Kamini Kaushal, and it became a huge hit. After success of Ziddi, Devanand decided to start producing his own films. This is the same film when he met singer Kishor Kumar and Lata Mangeshkar. Their duet song in this film, Ye Kaun Aaya? karke ye sola singar was also a hit this is where their friendship started and they worked together for next four decades devanand's friendship started with kishor ji as kishor sang his first solo song marne ki duaye for film ziddi and the song was pictureized on devanand in 1949 devanand started his own film company navketan films and it went on to produce 35 films. In 1950, he produced film Nirals with actress Madhubala as heroine and it was a big commercial success. Devanand and Madhubala became a popular pair in films later on. In late 1940s, Devanand got male lead roles opposite singer and actress Suraya in woman-oriented films. While working together, they both became romantically involved. Devanand and Suraya were paired in seven films together which were very successful at the box office. These films were Vidya in 1948, Jeet in 1949, Sher in 1949, Afsar 1950, Nile in 1950, Do Sitare and Sanam in 1951. Suraya fell in love with Devanand while they were shooting a song together for film Vidya. 
they were both shooting a song kinare kinare chale jayenge while shooting for the song their boat sank and devanand saved her from drowning the story is that devanand proposed to suraya in 1950 while shooting for film afsar but her maternal grandma was against this relationship due to their different religions suraya was muslim and devanand was punjabi hindu so suraya remained unmarried They stopped working together and Dost Tare in 1951 was the last film in which they both worked together. Since Surya was considered a bigger star, she was cast in main lead roles in women-oriented films and to make his own mark and create his own identity, Devanand started looking for an opportunity to play main lead in a film where he could showcase his acting skills. <laughs> Devanand chose actor and director Gurudat to direct his crime thriller film Bazi in 1951. Film was a huge success and became trendsetter as number of films were made based on urban crime stories. Bazi also saw newcomer Kalpana Karthik also known as Mona Singha as lead female actress and Gurudat as a film director. After success of their film Bazi, duo Devanand and Kalpana Karthik were offered lot of films to star in together. They signed all the films and their films went on to become big hits some of these films are andia in 1952 taxi driver in 1954 house number 44 in 1955 and nodo gyara in 1957 during the filming of taxi driver both fell in love and got married they had son named snil anand and daughter devena After her marriage, Kalpana decided not to work in films anymore. Nodo Gyara was their last film together. From early 1950s, Devanand's unique style of acting and rapid fast dialogue delivery was well liked by the audience. His film stories were based on mystery, light comedy love stories and films with social relevance. He started a number of box office hit films with newcomer actors Wahida Rehman such as CID in 1956, Kala Bazaar in 1960 and Baat Ek Raat Ki in 1962. Wahida became a star with film CID in 1956 and went on to work together in successful films like Roop Ki Rani Choron Ka Raja in 1961 and Prem Pujari. Devanand won his his first filmfare award for best actor in film kala pani in 1958 opposite madhubala he also acted with acting giant dilip kumar in insaniyat he also acted in successful films that had tragic stories like pocket mar in 1956 kala pani in 1958 babai ka babu in 1960 and shrabi in 1964 he also played negative character roles in films such as Jal in 1952, Dushman in 1957 and Kala Bazaar. Besides having success with Suraya and Kalpana Karthik, Devanand also had success acting with Nutan and Wahida Rahman. From early 1950s till mid 1960s, trio of actors Dilip Kumar, Raj Kapoor and Devanand ruled as the top heroes in Hindi cinema. <laughs> In the 1960s, Devanand acquired a romantic image with films such as Manzil and Tere Ghar Ke Saamne with Nutan, Kinare Kinare with Meena Kumari, Maya with Mala Sinha, Asli Nakli with Sadhana Shiv Jasani, Jab Pyaar Kisi Se Hota Hai and Mahal with Asha Parekh and film Teen Deviyan opposite three heroes, Kalpana, Simi Garewal and Nanda. Devanand relied on his friendship in Hollywood to launch his first color film, Indo-US co-production Guide. He started with Wahida Rahman in this film and was directed by his younger brother, acclaimed film director Vijayanand. Devanand was well known in film circle abroad too. In 1969, Devanand was a member of the jury at 6th Moscow International Film Festival. He collaborated with his brother Vijayanand for a couple of films. Devanand did thriller film Johnny Mera Naam in 1970 opposite Hema Malini which was a big hit. And this film Johnny Mera Naam made Hema Malini a big star. He reunited with his brother again to make another thriller Jewel Thief. This film featured actors Vijanti Mala, Tanuja, Anju Mahindru, Faryal and Halen. And this film also was a super duper big hit. <laughs> D 
Devanand's directorial debut with his film Prem Pujari was a flop, but over the years he developed a cult like fan following. He had huge successful film as he directed Hare Rama Hare Krishna in 1971. His film was based on hippie culture and his newly found heroine Zeenat Aman became an overnight star. He also made successful films Tere Mere Sapne which was based on AJ Cronin's novel The Citadel and then he appeared with Zahida in film Gambler. In early 1970s to mid 1970s as Raj Kapoor was starting to age put on a lot of weight and started playing character roles and father's roles and Devanand kept delivering commercial hit films with the young heroines like Sharmila Tagore in Ye Gulistan Hamara with Yogita Bali and Rakhi in film Banarsi Babu in 1973 with Hema Malini and Chupa Rustam in 1973 and Amir Garib in 1974 in 1973 he also did Heera Panna with Zeenat Aman Warrant in 1975 Kalabaz and Darling Darling in 1977. He did Bullet in 1976 with Praveen Babi. Devanand's discovery of young heroines like Zeenat Aman and Tina Manim and his excellent on-screen chemistry with beautiful young actresses such as Rakhi, Praveen Babi, Hema Malini and Zeenat Aman in various films established his image as the evergreen star even though he was well into his 50s. He experimented with different genre of films so he got versatile hero image. He was already 55 years old when he directed and acted in his film Days Per Days with newcomer actress Tina Munim. This film was one of the top 5 grossing films of the year. He also starred in English films such as The Evil Within in 1970 in which he was paired opposite Vietnamese actress Kyu Chin and Zeenat Aman. and guide the english version devanand appeared in 114 hindi films in 6 decades by 2011 devanand had the second most solo lead roles in hindi films with 92 with first superstar of indian cinema rajesh khanna having the record for the most films as solo lead hero in hindi films with 106 Devanand has directed 19 films and produced 35 films. Of the 35 films that he produced, 18 were commercially successful at the box office and of the 19 films directed by him, 10 were super hits. He wrote the stories for 13 of his own films. Critics say his directorial ventures have always been ahead of their time. Devanand's films are well known for their hit songs. He gave a lot of actors a big break in his films such as Zarina Wahab in Ishq 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 Jackie Shroff in Swami Dada, Tabu in Hum Na Jawan, and Sanjay Dutt's first wife, actress Aditya Sharma. He also introduced Zina Daman, Tina Munim, Shatru Gansana, Shekhar Kapoor, Kabir Bedi, Zahira, Zahida Hussain, Natasha Sinha, Ekta Soni, Sabrina, and many others. Devanand not only won millions of fans across the globe he did receive numerous awards but Devaji appreciated and celebrated his fans more than his awards he received filmfare award for best actor for his performance in films Kala Pani and Guide his film Guide was India's official entry to the Oscars in 2001 the government of India honored him with the Padma Bhushan award and in 2002 he received the Dada Saheb Phalke award for his contribution to Indian cinema in July 2000 in New York City he was honored by an award from the hands of then first lady of the United States of America Hillary Clinton for his outstanding contribution to Indian cinema Devanand died in his room at the Washington Mayfair Hotel in London, England at the age of 88 on December 3, 2011 of cardiac arrest. His death came just 2 months after the release of his last film Charge Sheet which he also directed and produced. Devanand was reportedly in London for a medical checkup at the time of his death. He died by doing and enjoying what he loved the best, making films and entertaining his fans. Keep entertaining wherever you may be, Dave Sub. Thank you for the memory, sir. Keep resting in peace. If you enjoyed this episode on actor and filmmaker Devanand ji, please tell your family and friends about my channel, my radio show, and my podcast. All the links are provided in the section below.
I thank you once again for keeping me company. Please do help me grow this channel by hitting like and subscribing. Keep those messages and DMs coming. They do mean a lot to me. Till next time, stay safe and healthy, everybody. Take care of yourself and of those around you. Take care of yourself. Stay blessed.